Body Down Dream Team. It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with the Brady Six Journey of the Legend. No one wanted. Before we dive in, y'all know I need y'all to smash that subscribe button, ring notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. If you guys got a favorite video suggestion, you can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. Oh, we got it! Nice, really nice, huh? Boy, that's pretty. That, that's what that is, that's beautiful. How about you, huh? Just another reason why you're the best. Bulger reached 1,000 completions faster than any quarterback in NFL history. Dang! And was twice voted to the Pro Bowl. I felt physically that he was as gifted a thrower as any quarterback that I'd ever oh been around. Oh my God! What's up, Mark? Wait, you are living good, nice job, man. man. Nice job. You're living good. Unfortunately, I don't think all the pieces were around him long enough. They were mm. all getting older. Some people had to be replaced. And I think that's kind of Mark's career. Played great mm. when he had the right guys around him. When he didn't, he struggled. And, um, you know, it's the same for most of us. But not Brady. In 2006, he made a championship run with a receiving core made up primarily of cast-offs Touchdown, Doug Gabriel! And newcomers. Touchdown, the rookie Chad Jackson! I remember I was playing with the Chargers, and that's when LT set the racks. We were just hot that year. He goes, we're going to beat you guys. This guy's overrated. This guy can beat by double moves. And everything that he said when he left, they go, we're in trouble. <laughs> sure enough, two minutes ago, he kind of gave me a look, and I go, you got to be kidding me. Looking left, firing over the middle. It is caught over the middle by Daniel Graham. Stands in the pocket, shoots it long and deep to the right side. And it's oh, my it's God. Boom, 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 game. That was a tough one. <laughs> it's a lot tough, it's awesome. it's a lot tough one now. Brady came up one game short of another Super Bowl appearance. But he would return the following year with one of the best seasons by a quarterback in NFL history. Let's go, baby! Let's go right now! Tom Brady was driven to excel by the six quarterbacks drafted in front of him and the early push he received from Drew Henson in college. The connection with Henson is deepest. After all, Brady's career was supposed to happen to the can't-miss kid. Well, he would have been a first-round draft choice. I mean, he showed the characteristics you look for in an NFL quarterback. And then Tommy Brady, there's no way that any of us really thought that Tom was going to become the quarterback that he became in the NFL. Like okay. it, Brady was a two-sport prospect. Mm. When it's down and away, you drop the shoulder. You got to keep on down and away. You got to stay up on it. My high school is known for baseball, and I love baseball. I was a much better baseball player going into high school. You play baseball? Really? Pitcher and catcher. I love catching. Kind of figured out back there. Pitches are too mental. <laughs> drafted in the 18th round, but we were told had he not committed to Michigan, he would have been a second or a third round draft pick. Brady gave up wow. baseball when he got to Michigan. Drew Henson was drafted by the New York Yankees. Oh, wow. He continued to play both sports. When I had my summertime, I just he wanted did? to... I thought, like, Dion was one of the only guys to do that. Huh. Play baseball with the Yankees farm system as opposed to other kids with other summer jobs. Oh, wow. God dang. He was just a natural. He was good at everything he did. I mean, he was phenomenal that junior year. He had 18 touchdowns and four interceptions. And oh, my God. Henson waits, goes to the end zone. Terrell, touchdown, Michigan. I remember Charlie Casserly, who was the general manager that time of the Houston team, had said that if we give the number one pick and Henson's there and hasn't done anything else, we're taking Drew Henson number one in the draft. But after Dang. three years of back and forth, Henson decided to forego his senior year of football mm. and play baseball full time. At that moment, when I was 20 years old, 21 years old, I really wanted to be a pro baseball player. Henson's major league career was short. It's too bad wow. the way it turned out. He was one for nine in his baseball career in Yankees, in Yankee pinstripes. Henson decided wow. to return to football. Oh. In 2004, he made his first start for America's team. 
on Thanksgiving. They don't let you play really? third base unless you can throw the ball, and that's what he did as a baseball player, and obviously plenty of arm strength. But you have uh, to be able to hit the curveball, and that's why he's wearing number seven for the Cowboys. The game starts, oh, we take the first drive, we go down and score. God dang. We go up seven nothing. But in the second quarter, I end up throwing a pick that gets returned for a touchdown. That's picked off. McCorner's back the other way, and R.W. McCorner's with Henson in his way for a touchdown. And then he pulled me. Some big news from. For one interception? That's crazy. I guess when. I feel like they don't got the faith in you. That's crazy. Just the first interception. Just get pulled off of who was behind him. Romo. And then he pulled me. Some big news from the Dallas Cowboys. Bill Parcells told me at halftime he's seen about enough of Drew Henson in his rookie debut. He said the kid did some nice things, but he needs to go with the quarterback who gives him the best chance to win the ball game. Players get a window of opportunity, and quarterbacks specifically usually get the just one. Tom made the most of his situation in New England. He jumped in when Drew went down, led the team to a bunch of victories, and ran with it. My opportunity seemingly opened and closed on the same day. Dang. You know, these high expectations, you're supposed to be the next great Yankee. You're supposed to be right. the next great, that's enough. But, but then also the next great cowboy. Right. I mean, that is a lot of stuff to deal with. Tom Brady wasn't supposed to be anything. He had to work at it. He was skinny, slow, <laughs> <laughs> right? Too pretty to be a football player. But he was smarter than everyone. And he mm. studied night and day, day and night. Nobody works harder than Tom Brady. If you didn't play well on Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday in practice in college, I didn't know if I was going to start the game. Mm. So when I come to the Patriots, that's how I treat Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That's it. That's it. <laughs> nice patience on that. Nice patience. By the time Henson washed out in Dallas, Brady was a three-time Super Bowl champion. God dang, and that's Bowl crazy. Bowl. And these unis are awful. <laughs> we look like idiots. Here's a guy that's you know one of the greatest quarterbacks in history, and he still has that chip on his shoulder to be the very best. And he wants to prove those people that doubted him that they're wrong. Here's it out downfield. Randy Moss is there. Touchdown! Tom Brady right on the button with that one. 2007 was Brady's best. He set the NFL's single God. season record for touchdown passes. Touchdown pass number 50 for Tom Brady. My. Single season 50? My God. The back to the Super Bowl, where they fell one game short of the perfect season. Oh, the Again, Giants. We're talking with Drew Henson, was at Michigan with Tom Brady. Brady's still doing it. You're retired at 30, but uh, Brady is still doing it. You know, it's like looking for a pimple on Miss America here. Is there anything wrong with this guy? No, apparently not. <laughs> not these <laughs> days. Uh, I'm resigned to the fact that, you know, for forever that our, our college days are intertwined. So I understand the questions and the football, baseball questions as well. Do you get tired of answering them? Certainly. Um, do I try to think of new ways to answer them? Sometimes. But, uh, I mean, it is what it is, and, and, and that's all. It's part of, my, part of my story and always will be. A year after Brady's Patriots went 16-0, and the Detroit Lions went 0-16. It was Henson's last year in the Dang. NFL. He knew what he had been in college, so we brought him in just to take a look at him, see if there was anything left, and there, there wasn't. I'm 30 years old. I'm, I'm done playing probably sooner than I thought I would be, but at the same time, you know, I get a jump start on this next this next career. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, looking into sports broadcasting, actually broadcast a few games for ESPN3 this fall, uh, doing color for their college football stuff. Oh, so. sweet. I don't have any regrets. Every decision I made felt like at that time was the right decision. Uh, mm -hmm. Looking back 10 years, I, I think that patience would, was something I've never uh, been great at. If I just continued to play baseball when I left school, either that or if I had just played my senior year of football and chose to play football after that, I have no doubts I'd still be playing. It's going to be a great comeback, guys. I feel that. It's going to be a great comeback. Here we go. From high school bench warmer to one of the NFL's most celebrated players, the rise of the comeback kid is quite a story. But what sticks most in Tom Brady's mind is the day he fell to 199 in the Jeez. NFL draft. We were led to believe that he was going to be drafted, possibly second round, probably third round. They kept calling quarterback names, and 
We kept being stunned. You see, you know, so-and-so get picked, and then there's nine more picks gone until one team that you think was interested. Mm. You know, that's, you get pretty anxious. We're yeah, very... Yeah, I bet, I bet you, you get scared. Like, am I going to be drafted? Like, and for him to become the greatest of all time, that's insane. Pretty distraught. With each name, it was becoming worse and worse. So I remember being downstairs for like the fourth round, and and I came and gone. And the fifth round was coming and going, and all these other guys were getting Dang. picked. Beginning of the sixth round, he says, "I got to get out of here." So he gets up, comes downstairs, and grabs a baseball bat and starts walking up the street. You know, I don't want to sit around and maybe my hopes get up, or yeah. I'd rather just take my mind off it. And finally, he comes back into the house and. It's about the 22nd pick of the sixth round. And he says, I, I got to get out of here. The poor guy, the tension in the house is, is just really rough. And, and it was hard. I remember taking a walk with my dad and mom around the block. Dang, man. God dang, bro. It was just a tough day, you know? I just remember being there with my mom and dad. Sorry about that. You know, they just were so supportive of me. And, uh, and they take it as emotional as I do. And, uh, you know, finally when the Patriots called, I was so excited, you know? I was like, <laughs> I don't have to be an insurance salesman, you know? <laughs> so uh, my family was there, we were all excited. And thank God I got, I got picked here. He got drafted. And we were jubilant. One ninety nine. One ninety. That's crazy. For the greatest player of all time to be drafted at a, the 199th. Six of the round. six quarterbacks taken ahead that's of insane. Brady, three played in the league in 2010. Mark Bolger was Joe Flacco's backup in Baltimore. Chad Pennington underwent surgery on his right shoulder for a fourth time. Dang! The two-time comeback player of the year hopes to return for another season. I don't really want to major in that comeback player of the year award. I don't want to come <laughs> back anymore. I want to be here to stay. Chris Redman plans to return for his fifth season as a backup in Atlanta. I was so bad at insurance, I don't know if I can do that again, but uh, <laughs> it's still, if it was still left around. I guess we'll keep fooling him, I don't know. <laughs> Besides Tom. <laughs> oh. T. Martin is the wide receivers coach for one of Tennessee's rivals, Kentucky. As a kid, some of my role models and father figures in my life were my football coaches. When you're coming out of it and the ball's coming, you're starting to drift up field, as opposed to still attacking the ball coming downhill. I knew from the time I started playing that one day I wanted to coach. I'm going to be on you, dog. I'm going to be on you. All through the spring. Oh, yeah, dad came out today, too. <laughs> This is my son. This is Spurgeon IV. I'm seeing baseball or golf. This might be the next PGA Masters winner or 30 game winner. Has there been a 30 game winner? Spurgeon Wynn is an energy trader in Houston. Mm. Obviously, the whole evaluation process isn't perfect. I mean, this is just living proof, right? I think you figured it was a touchdown. You were just, you were just, you were banking on it. Well, Giovanni Carmazzi does not own a television and declined to be interviewed. You can't be standing oh, wow. there hoping. He lives two hours north of San Francisco and describes himself as a yoga exercising farmer. Huh. He has five goats. Hey, this is Michigan weather right here. In 2010, Three-time Super Bowl champion Tom Brady became the first unanimous MVP in NFL history. How bad for a California kid? It's a story that I tell guys. I can come from anywhere. I can go undrafted, drafted low, and win a Super Bowl. Tom Brady did it. I'm proud to be 
part of that 2000 quarterback draft class that he's holding the torch high for us. <laughs> I feel like Tom Brady's one of those players where everything came together in New England, but he would have had some, some form of success no matter where he went, no matter where he was taken, and no matter what team drafted him. And he I was forget. right in our backyard, and he probably always wanted to be a 49er. And that would have been great. In fact, if we'd have drafted him, I probably would still be coaching there. <laughs> <laughs> we all missed on Brady, including the Patriots, because if they knew he was going to be that good, they wouldn't have waited until the sixth round. Lacks great physical stature and strength. Lacks mobility and ability to avoid the rush. Does not throw a really tight spiral. System type player who can get exposed if forced to add lift means they missed the most important part, heart. They didn't mm -hmm. understand what drives somebody. We didn't open up his chest and look at his heart. We didn't look mm -hmm. at that. I don't know if anybody did. And what kind of spine he has, and resiliency, and all the things that are making him really great right now. This game is a struggle. Tom Brady embraced that struggle more than anybody I've ever known. It's not by accident he got to, to where he is. And once he had a Super Bowl, two Super Bowls, three Super Bowls, it, it doesn't matter. He's still working just as hard. Throwing the ball with the C as opposed to a U, keeping your front shoulder closed. Hey, once he got like six Super Bowls now, is he six or is he seven? I don't even know. Just to go. Yeah, he, he, just to go. Go a little six inch step. That bicep as close to your ear as you can. By the time it's all said and done, who knows how many rings he'll have. A decade into his career, the man taken with pick 199 has achieved in all, but still feels he has plenty to prove. It's not really a chip on my shoulder. It's just that feeling that, man, maybe nobody wants you. When I watch myself play at times, I still look okay, like very good. Man, you're still not very fast. You know, you got a decent arm, you know? You made some pretty <laughs> bad reads on that day. That's what gets me up and motivates me. I always want to feel like I'm the best quarterback for this team. Mm. I want to earn it every single day. I absolutely love that, bro. Tom Brady, incredible legend. Journey as a legend that no one wanted. That's all we got. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. It's your boy Dina, out.